Claire Cooley's prolific and myriad art forms flow effortlessly, one into another. Early in life, I found sanctuary in creativity, and I've used it all my life to rise above my own challenges. I love sharing it with others, which is why I wrote Incandescence Rising Above Darkness, my memoir, to help others overcome their difficulties through creative expression. And now, here's a chapter from my audiobook. Seed settles on sacred soil. Seeds are designed to survive severe cold, extreme heat, drought, and in fertile lands until finally the conditions are right to germinate. Some cross oceans or are blown thousands of miles. Some are eaten by animals. Some lie dormant for years until the time is just right to bloom. Eventually, the fortunate seeds land on fertile soil and become magnificently what they were meant to be. My mother knew it was necessary for me to stay in the sturdy shape until the time was right for me to blossom safely. My mother understood my tender shoots were too vulnerable and petals too sensitive for this place. We knew there would be a time for me to flower, but until then, we accepted I had to stay contained in the protection of the seed shape, content to survive, waiting for the time to thrive. The winds of chance cast my seed into the gale force of my father's destructive discontent. Staying in the calm eye of the storm of his rage required me to develop an ability to sense the subtle warnings of the violent turbulence brewing. Watching for the smallest changes of the brutal forces around me became a constant vigil. Staying precisely within the serenity of the very middle of the hurricane, within my seed shield, was required. This demanded alertness and agility to be ready to move quickly as the winds shifted. Staying silent to hear early warnings was my discipline. Observing the slightest changes in the environment, my practice and trusting my instincts, my way. Occasionally, a kind visitor would come to see my mother when my siblings and father were not there. And only then would my mother say, they are very nice, dear. Would you do your seed dance? My mother wanted me to know there were some people who were gentle and among whom I could be safe. I would give my mother a small nod and then go into the other room. My mother would ask the guests to sit on the couch. When they were settled, I would come into the room and walk to the center. Sitting on my feet, I would fold the top of my body over the bottom, then tuck my head and curl my arms along my sides, putting my hands under my feet. After lying motionless in the seat shape for several minutes, I would begin to rise almost imperceptibly. First, my little arms, then torso, then legs would unfold like a sprout reaching for the light. Finally, when my whole body was upright, my arms would reach above my head, my small face would turn toward the sky, I would separate my arms as a flower in full bloom. Without any sound or movement, I would remain there for a few moments. Then I would bow toward the guest and leave the room silently. The visitors would be too stunned to utter a sound or applaud before I left the room. But this was as it should be. It was perfect because my seed dance was a gift, not a performance. When the dance was done, the gift had been given. Nothing more needed to happen, and everyone felt complete. 
You can find Claire Cooley's memoir, Incandescence Rising Above Darkness, on Amazon or anywhere where you buy books. If you'd like to access the audiobook as it is coming out section by section, consider checking out her Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Claire Cooley. This is the essence of everything inspired by the four seasons, each season with its primary color, element, metal, and botanical is a connection that we all have with nature and all the elements, earth, water, air, and fire. The essence of everything will be a performance piece where I paint the set, the costumes, spoken word, audio art, and choreography, all interwoven, inspired by nature, my muse. The third floor of the Emerald Lady is an apartment for creativity clients who come to have their imaginations inspired and focus on creative projects that give them happiness and purpose. You can get my stencil designs to use for your art projects. There are 10 on my Patreon now and lots more coming. You can buy them for $3 a piece or when you become a member for just $5 a month, you'll get all of them for free. There's no commitment and you can cancel any time. Check it out on patreon.com forward slash Claire Cooley. As a member, you'll get exclusive content and shout outs at the end of my videos like this. If you're not ready to sign up yet, you can become a free member, a great way to support my work and get notifications about my art and book. I put all my live streams on my Patreon for free. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay creative.